When you need to check a large batch of cables or wire harnesses at one time, CableEye lets you automate the procedure to ensure test consistency and avoid operator error. To demonstrate this, I'll open the automatic test window. Here you see a macro, which is simply a predetermined test sequence you create to achieve the test function needed. Before I start running this, I'll explain briefly how it works. On line 1, a pop-up window appears into which you enter the name of the cable you wish to test. On line 2, wait for PB simply causes the program to pause, waiting for the black push button on the tester to be pressed. At this time, you attach the cable you wish to test to the fixture. When you press the button, we advance to line 3. Test cable makes a measurement on the cable you've attached. On line 4, compare test to match compares the data we measured to the data we've loaded from the database. If they match perfectly, we sound a tone on line 6. If there's any differences, we sound a different kind of tone on line 8, and then print a differences list. Notice that the indented instructions are dependent on the if statement that immediately precedes them. On line 10, we repeat back to line 2, which is the wait for push button statement. Here, you may now remove the cable you've just tested and attach another one, and when ready, push the button to continue. Now, let me turn on the differences list. For this example, I'll also turn off the test data display because of the limited screen size possible in this video clip. In practice, you'll have room for the test data also. Start the macro by either clicking Execute or pressing the Test button on the tester. When you do that, the instructions you see here begin executing. Enter the cable name, mount the cable under test, and press the button on the tester. It passed and we heard a beep. Mount the next cable, press the button again. To simulate a failure, I'm going to lower the default threshold to a point that I know is not acceptable for this cable. Now I'll press the button to test. A failure occurred. A report is being printed, and you can see here a list of the conductors whose resistance failed the threshold. You can design a macro to check for intermittent connections, print labels, add serial numbers to labels and reports, print a report for every cable, print a batch report for statistical process control on the lot of cables checked, test resistors and diodes, and if you wish, archive every cable you test for later analysis. You can also add pop-up windows to provide instructions for operators on attaching complex cables to the tester, or for flipping switches built into wire harnesses. Any number of different macros may be created and used for different purposes. Choose the macro you wish from this pull-down list. Although most macros are less than 15 instructions, there's no practical limit to the number of instructions you use. If you wish, the automatic test window may be hidden during testing to avoid distracting the operator. You may also create a shortcut to the CableEye software on your desktop that will open the program and automatically start the macro of your choice. Create several shortcuts, each starting a different macro, if you wish. This makes it very easy for unskilled operators to use the tester. Note that for enhanced security, you may write protect the tester to guard your macros and database from unauthorized changes. We'll discuss this in a later clip.